today we're going to Disney. But we're driving there, and it's about uh, 18 hours from St. Louis, so you know what that means. Road trip! I woke up at 4 in the morning. Where are we going? Disney World. Woohoo! There she is. Miss Sweepy Hat. We're going to you ready? Ready. Right. Ready. <laughs> ready. Let's go! All right, day one, we're going to Hollywood Studios. Got the minivan, mini lift. Here we go. You guys ready? Watch this yeah. We're here. We made it to Hollywood Studios. It's currently 8.05 Monday morning, September 19th. We are here at Hollywood Studios. Today we got early entrance into the park with our all-star music resort pass. So we're gonna go ride Tower of Terror first and get in line before anybody else does. So this is a movie, apparently. What, Tower of Terror? Yeah, screaming, we were to... We're in line at the Tower of Terror. And I am terrified. I don't know if I want to go on this ride. You guys getting scared? You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business of Lee. Now, something is about to happen that will change all that. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard, because in tonight's episode, you are the star, and this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. on my face, I was terrified. The whole reason we went to Hollywood Studios was because Layla had to ride this ride. What a fun way to start our day. This coaster shoots you out 0 to 57 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. Our little rocker girl loved it too. Rock on, baby! 
Next is Mickey's Runaway Railway. I was doing my thing, getting establishing shots outside while we're standing in line. Once we got inside, I wanted to get this long shot of the hallway in front of us, and as I pan down, this is what I see. I had no idea she was doing that. <laughs> this is us chilling on the ride, having a great time. Goofy even saved our railway from running away. Walking in the park, our daughter spotted a few of their favorite childhood characters. Doc McStuffins, Fancy Nancy, and Pluto. Stella got this sweet lanyard and souvenir pin. I mean, come on, what other shake pretzel would you expect to see at Disney World? Next ride was Slinky Dog Dash. He was even nice enough to stop and pose for a picture with us. Do you like that? Yeah. All right. On to the alien swirling saucers. Here's us chilling in line, waiting our turn. Let's go. The girls loved how fast these things were spinning. If you can't tell, we were having a great time. Off to Toy Story Land. This place had so many cool, giant, colorful statues that made you feel submerged right into Toy Story. Now, Star Wars Galaxy Edge, that might have been my absolute favorite part of the entire day. I mean, just watch this sequence. I love this part. I love this part. We ended the day by seeing a couple shows and watching a parade. I would say Hollywood Studios was definitely a hit. Day two, we made it to the Magic Kingdom. First picture inside and just look at the smile on these beautiful girls' faces. After years and years of talking about taking our kids to Disney World, a lot of planning and savings, today is the day we are finally here. First up on our agenda was Tomorrowland. The girls couldn't wait to ride Space Mountain, so we rode that first. And I don't like roller coasters, and the look on my face says it all. Next, we hit the Orbitron flying machine. That was pretty cool. It had a lever at the bottom where you could raise and lower the ship. And it went up pretty high, and you had a great overview of the park. 
Next, we seen the Carousel of Progress, and that show was phenomenal. Here's the girls chilling front row. On to Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. This was a shooting game, and spoiler alert, parents beat the kids. When we left, Buzz was outside breakdancing on stage. Stella chauffeured me around the Disney racetrack. All while Mom and Layla chased behind us. Look at that cool cat. Then I think we got lost because we ended up in Old Salem. Tricked ya! It's a prop set up to advertise the new Hocus Pocus 2 movie. We are all really big fans and thought the second one told a great story. Stella likes the movie so much she dressed up as Winifred for Halloween this year. Hiding around the corner, we ran into Cinderella's stepsisters. Speaking of Cinderella, cue our Cinderella Castle montage. Next, we hit Adventureland. We rode Pirates of the Caribbean and then got a cold treat. Stella spotted an orange bird flying around and even caught it on her finger. We walked around, spotted some more cool characters, even got a high five. Middle of the day, we rode Haunted Mansion. The story and all the holograms kind of scared our poor Stella Belle, but never fear, Mom was by our side to keep her safe. Layla and Stella have seen so many videos of people pulling the sword out of the stone, but I assure you, it does not come out. Watch, Stella will show you. Since my wife and I were with two princesses, it was on to Princess Fairytale Hall to meet a few fellow princesses. Can you guess who they met first? Walking out, we met this awesome photographer who captured these amazing portraits for us. I still can't believe our little Disney lovers are getting so big. I may be a bit biased, but we certainly have the most beautiful girls in the world. It's a Small World is one of my grandma's favorite attractions at the Magic Kingdom. So of course we had to ride that. The girls really enjoyed seeing all the different cultures from around the world. Plus, it was nice to get a little break before the party starts. First things first, we gotta change shirts. It's time for this year's special Halloween celebration called Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. They gave us these cool bags to put our goodies in. The first trick-or-treat spot was handing out full-size bags of Candy Crunch M&Ms. Then we were off to ride some rides. 
Seven Dwarfs was a super smooth coaster and it was a blast to ride. Unbeknownst to me, I was about to get my favorite picture the entire day. The way the castles lit up and the smiles on everybody's faces, this is a moment I will cherish forever. Off to Splash Mountain for the second time today. Stella and I got the back seat. Mom and Layla were up front. We had to duck the first time, but not this time. <laughs> oh. All right, yeah. have fun. Yeah. Uh, we have it. We have a good time. Didn't mean to press record, but we're going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All righty, well, good luck. Go. Flash out. See you at the bottom. Yeah. Might have had more fun this time than we did the first. We found some more movie prop cutouts to pose in front of before heading off to our next ride. Space Mountain, round two, in the dark. No, literally, for the Halloween theme, the entire mountain is pitch black while you're on the ride. These girls are daredevils, I tell ya. We grabbed some popcorn and got it in this super cool mummy Mickey container. Hopped on the people mover and got a great overview of Tomorrowland. We've been at the park for 14 hours at this point. Then these crazy guys showed up to help us get a ride back to the castle so we didn't miss the parade, but then this guy pulled up. Ah! When the Headless Horseman strolls down Main Street, that means the parade is about to begin. We got lucky and found a spot right along the curb. Now we're on our way to the grand finale. The story that you are about to be told is one for both the young and the old. Unlike anything you've ever seen, get ready for this is Halloween. Day three, we made it to Clearwater Beach. Girls got some boogie boards, hitting the ocean for the first time. Stella's already got a bunch of seashells. Wind just knocked her hat off and she wasn't expecting it. Here comes Layla and Stella. Come on, Layla, you can ride all these. You gotta run and swim and kick. Stella, you gotta run and jump up. Like, see this wave's coming? Run and jump. Run, 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 run. 
There you go, and then you'll ride that. Run, 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 and then jump. Here goes Daddy, AKA Tokes. 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 He is boogie boarding out here at Clearwater Beach. There's some male boys, really pretty out. Kids had ocean toys. Ready, set, go. Hut, hut, hike. <laughs> uh oh, she's getting cocky. Let's see how far it goes. Oh, that was a good throw. Bad catch. Good throw. Oh, great throw. Yeah, nice catch. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. We hung out at Pier 60 in Clearwater until we could check into our Airbnb down in Indian Rocks Beach. Everybody got clean, then it was off to dinner. When we got there, the sunset over the ocean was absolutely stunning. There was a wait for the table, so we hit the beach so I could get some amazing shots of my gorgeous supermodels. Try the salsa with the tomato and onion this time. Never done She's never done it before. Gotta get a big scoop. <laughs> My toe <tall> breaks! <laughs> 
do that one, Layla? <laughs> oh my gosh. It hurts that bad. Yeah, do it. Oh. Hi, let's go. This is the walk to the beach. We timed it. From the door to the beach is one minute and 20 seconds. Indian Rocks Beach, Florida, September 21st, 2022. Oh, there they are, out in the ocean. What up? Day four on the beach. Me and Stella are about to play some football, a little bit of catch, and then we're gonna hit the boogie boards and have a great day. Let's go. she is. She's in her happy place. Her natural habitat, which is the outdoors in the sun. Day five, we made it on a boat, heading to the inner coastal waterway to do some sightings. Stay tuned to see what we're looking for. The boat ride was full of spectacular sights and our tour guide was super funny and knowledgeable about the area. About an hour of cruising around, Maggie was the very first person on our entire boat to spot a dolphin! It was awesome. There were about five or six of them swimming around right in front of us.
this spotting made our boat ride complete. After that, we got some lunch and hit a couple shops. Then it was back to the beach. Layla, from here on out, will be known as the Sand Dollar Hunter. We're walking around here in this beautiful day. And now we'll be known as the Boogie Border. There's the Boogie Border. Layla's already found four Sand Dollars. No, I don't Within like a couple minutes. Work your magic, Sand Dollar Hunter. Layla, the Sand Dollar Hunter. Layla. She's waiting for another one. I found one. I was like, girl, if you were me, you wouldn't have to. Layla's just pulling sand dollars out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Are you joking? Layla just got four sand dollars. Hold, hold them up. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, wait, wait. You have a talent. <laughs> She just got another one. Another one. Another one. What? You found the whole family. Yeah, you better put them all back together. Take that one away. Take that one away. The ocean chose you, Layla. I think you found your calling. Okay. Wait. Is that another one? Oh my god. Holy oh my cow. God. Wait. <laughs> How do you keep finding these? Oh what my the god. Heck? Here. Let's see. Let's see. Lay them Put out. them out here. Hold on. Let me Let's come on this place. side. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. I only just saw the sand dollars within like minutes. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just pulled out another it's one. Eight. <laughs> How many you got? I have no idea. Big wave. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How'd you do it? Tell us your secret. I feel round stuff on the bottom. And I use my toes to pick it up. It's so mean. Great job. That's crazy. Can I help put them back down? Yeah. Do I just lay them down? Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait. She might get a tenth one. It's so weird. Like, Here what are these things on top? Oh, my. She has ten now. That one's the biggest one, it looks like. Ten is the biggest one. It's pretty close to this one. <laughs> what happened? Nothing, just, There's hairs on me. It like poked me. It feels gross. Seriously? It's kind of sharp. It poked you? Yeah, I can feel it too. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's crazy. Three. Two, one. Last time it was Nine. jellyfish. Last time it's sand dollars. I think uh, you found your calling. Pick it up like this. You seem to dump them over so they all stay together. Oh, this is a big seashell. Oh, wow. She's just, Holy cow. She's just good at everything. Lily's just pulling stuff out of the ocean. <laughs> you think about our sand dollar hunter. Pretty wild. <laughs> she's very brave. Not something I would do. I don't even like touching the bottom. Me neither. I get the heebie jeebies when seaweed gets me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right, we're back at it with Ocean Adventures number two. <laughs> First, we were sand dollar hunting. Now we got the ghost crab, live, direct, and in person. Mom found it this time. Should I touch it? Oh, jeez. 
There's one girl on my back. <laughs> Can I touch it? Yeah, yeah. sure. I know, touch, touch you touch the back of it. You touch it. We'll put it in the ocean. I'll scoot How about it up. Dad touches it? Feels like a hard shell. Does it really? Yeah. Put it back in the ocean and we'll only touch it. <laughs> Oh, Can I feel? Yeah, that's all it feels like. Wait, do it's, just a, it's just a hard yeah, shell on the back. Just touch him. Oh. Easy. Ew, it does. He's trying to pinch you guys. Alright, what feel do you do? It. Dude, how'd I end up on this purple board? <laughs> oh, I hit that way too hard. <laughs> how'd I end up on this purple board? Okay, let's thinking. let him go, guys. Yeah. Adios, ghost. Nice one. <laughs> Mom's like, don't swim up on me. Okay, help me strap this on my wrist. I think that's probably what pinched off your ponytail. Yeah, totally. Uh, and ghost crabs. Still, as Tony said, this is what we call Golden Hour. She just came up with this handshake. It's called the Basta Boom Basta. <laughs> Dang, <That's> son. <laughs> Wait, we can call it the Dasta. <laughs> it's the last night on the beach here in Clearwater, 2022. The date is September 23rd. We've gone to Disney, we stayed in Indian Rocks Beach, we've come to Clearwater almost every day. Me and Mom love you girls, we hope you guys had such a good time this week. We love you. Love you. We just had this really nice dinner for our last night in Clearwater. We're at Blinker Steakhouse. We got the lava cake. The girls are getting ready to cut into it. Let's see it, Stel and Layla. Let's see it. I can't do it. One, two, three. Nice. Someone messed it up. That's okay. All right, enjoy your dessert. Our first Disney vacation has come to an end so incredibly fast. Stella collected some sand so she doesn't forget what the beach feels like. We got a few more family pictures right by the ocean. Then it was time to head back home. Enjoy this silly ending clip. I didn't even know it was taken until I imported the footage. It's great. Okay, so I'm about to eat these um, Sour Patch Kids Extreme. It says super sour and sweet. And I'm gonna open them up. And I just want you to see my reaction face to see how sour they actually are. Because the actual ones are pretty sour if you ever try them. You should if you have not. So here they are. I'm gonna just open them right here. Oh, they smell super sour too. Okay, ready? So we're gonna try this orange one. I'm gonna do every are one. You, are you kidding me? I thought you were talking to me. Layla, over here, Donna is talking to her. But that's pretty funny. Um, ready? Let's try these um, sour patch extremes. They aren't that sour, but let's try the orange or the green. It's just orange, yeah, that's orange. 
Let me try the green and blue ones. And I think those are all the colors. Just green and blue. Wait, was that just green and blue? Okay, so next up, let's try the blue. Ready? It's a little sour. I have to make a face. This one, I think, she was with the showers. Oh, that blue one really got to me. Okay, here we go. Green, last one. It's green apple. Yeah, that's sour, but it's um sour enough to burn my mouth. 